of you sent us pictures and videos showing the impact of today's storms. You can see just how quickly and heavily hail was coming down in Pueblo today. And the heavy rain from the storm caused serious flooding on many streets. And we're continuing to track those flash floods in Pueblo tonight. In some cases, people left their cars behind with the rising waters just to get to safety. News 5's Jessica Barreto joins us new, live near an overpass on 29th Street. Jessica, tell us a little bit about what conditions are looking like now. Well, conditions have improved for sure in the past couple of hours, although we've seen a lot of cars getting stuck underwater and many still have to be hauled out of here. Now, just take a look behind me. Not one or two, but three cars got stuck in floodwaters here. Earlier, they were submerged up to their roofs. Now they're covered in a thick layer of mud. Thankfully, Pueblo Police tells me these drivers made it out okay, but the panic of facing off against these conditions could be felt across many streets here in Pueblo. Surprise, flash flood. Drivers in Pueblo forced to think quick as dangerous floodwaters quickly gained the upper hand. Cody Shu is visiting from Oregon, driving to his hotel when he got stuck near Elizabeth Street and Eagle Ridge Boulevard. The water just kept rising and rising, came in the doors, the floors are all full of water made all the electronics start popping and lights going on. He says he underestimated the storm. I thought it being so hot and dry here, the water would go somewhere, but it doesn't seem to. Meanwhile, three cars are nearly completely submerged near 29th Street and East Frontage Road. They've attracted attention from onlookers like Peggy Baca, who's lived here her whole life. 55 years, so I've never seen this. She made the drive here from Bessemer, where the situation was a lot worse. Floods galore up and down the streets. You were lucky to even just come down Lake. You couldn't turn on the other side streets. But if there's one lesson these drivers have learned, whether by experience or seeing the consequences first hand, it's that it's always better to be safe than sorry. There is no way I would chance that. Don't go in the water. Now, just as a reminder, 29th Street is still closed between East Frontage Drive and Dillon Drive. Now, don't try to drive past those barriers. We've seen some cars try to do that before. The good news, a flash flood warnings expired at 8 o'clock tonight, and Pueblo is only expected to receive some lighter rain showers through midnight. Always watching out for you, Pueblo, Jessica Barreto, News 5.